Hello, and welcome back to more Let's Play The Legend of Mana. In the last episode, we were actually about to, you know, take on some, like, battles and stuff, and now, as you see, I'm standing in the inn. Like, what am I doing here? Well, I mean, I'm here because I wanted to put this music on to sleep to last night. So that's one reason. But another thing is that I did do a little bit of messing around on this last night, just to kind of familiarize myself with a few things and uh, so one thing I did kind of want to show and I'm not going to show all of this because it's a lot of information but back here in the home when you go to this little library looking place upstairs actually it might be downstairs there's actually a lot of useful information that you can get here and I read over pretty much all of it but I remember as I was reading it, I remember thinking that I wanted to show this, or... I don't remember why or what it was under. But here, there's like a listing of all the characters we've met so far. And it's actually really cool, because it shows like a picture of them and all about them and stuff. You know, and it's, it's, it's interesting info to look through, and it's worth looking... ...if for no other reason than just to help you remember like who all you've met where you've met them, like, we saw this guy go into the bar, but we never actually followed him in there. And there's Bud and Lisa there, there's Inspector Boyd here. It's like, I didn't realize his name was Boyd, so maybe he plays the violin. Uh, Dave Matthews Band reference, don't mind me. Um, yeah, there's a lot of characters here. There's also a little cactus is one of them. So that's, that's really cool. Then there's your bestiary here, so you come in and look at all these. Like rabbites and stuff. And techniques here, this is probably the most important part. You see, there's all these different techniques that you can learn by mixing and matching other techniques. And like, by switching in and out of your basic techniques, you can learn other ones. Like, I learned high jump here. And counter attack, and I learned the defensive lunge. So... I think I did that just by equipping these other techniques and using them. I don't know if it's like you learn them by using them a certain amount or something, but... Still, that's interesting, though. So... So, like, if I go in here and look at my skills right now, I have Crouch. And it's cool because, like, each one has a little description of what it is and what you do. I like Crouch because it's basically free healing if you can get far enough away. So I've had that one on for a while now. I did grind a little bit, but not much. Like, I just went out to the Luon Highway and grinded off that one random Chobin hood that shows up in the middle. Because he drops like 50 gold. Look at her ears, I'll tell you what, man. So I got like, I don't know, 500 gold now or something like that. It's not too bad. But anyway, maybe we should get back to what we were doing at the end of the last episode. I try to shorten these videos down a little bit because uh, they're getting a little long... a little long-winded, if you know what I mean. I'm also aware that, like, the further away from your house you build something, the harder the monsters would be. So that makes me a little concerned about what we might run into out here. But doesn't that also mean that the monsters would be worth more experience? So maybe that's not such a bad thing. Ba -ba 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 -ba. You see the leaves from the sprout-looking dude, I suppose. Leave once you are finished. Don't you mean leaf once I'm finished? No. I know, I'm not funny. Oh, wow, there's like different ways to go here. Let's try the cave. These caves are cool. Got no caves. Man, look at this. Really atmospheric. Oh my gosh. Oh man, I love this. Uh oh, here we go. Okay, let's see how bad it is. Um, I also kind of figured out that if you just spam your regular attack... Wait a minute, let me grab these. If you don't grab them, you lose them, so... Oh, that was chocolate. Holy crap. Okay, 20 experience. Not bad. You do gain levels in this game, it's just not nearly as obvious when it happens. But as you can see, I'm level 7 now, and you can see how much more experience you need. 
This is a little spectacular, I gotta say. Can we turn the gain up on the mic a little bit here? I don't know. Things are a little quiet lately. I'm not sure why that is. Maybe I just need to speak up. Well, I am standing up again, so maybe that's why. Hey, two chests. Hell yeah. I got angry eye. Ooh, don't look at me with your angry eyes. You got flaming quill. Wouldn't that just burn the paper when you try to write on it? Flaming quill. Good lord. I see a pair of blazing thighs! Uh oh. I don't know what these guys are supposed to be, but I enjoy fighting them. I find myself- I really enjoy the sound it makes when you hit a monster. It's just so gratifying to hear. It's like, thwack, thwack, thwack. Let's look over here. Let's look over here and see what we got. Yes, yeah, leaves are continuing to fall. Leaves are basically everywhere, though. Does this just drop me off, like, later on the same path? Oh, I see. There's like a cliff here. So I probably had to go that way. I think I'm just gonna follow the leaves for now. Uh oh. Ooh, what are those? Some kind of snakes? Oh god, no, no, let go of me, dude. Uh. No, okay, we don't want to get close to that. On the way there if we can. Um. Try to attack from a distance here if we can. Maybe not go for this combo so much. I am trapped like a mofo in here. No, I don't think so. Wow, Ooh, that's tricky. Oh, well, he grabbed me from pretty far off there. That's all right. Oh, maybe I should use my specials on these. I don't know. Holy jeez. That's like really annoying. Yeah, that's right, you get dunked on. Ah, shoot, you got grabbing a combo though. Ah, do they always have to do it twice? Three times in a row? At least I almost got to there. Well, any experience that that other guy dropped, I never did pick up, so. Woo. Okay. Yep. Uh, they weren't kidding. Stuff was gonna be harder. It's a good thing I leveled up as much as I did. That was actually pretty messy. I don't know, man. Oh my god, it's a mimic! Let's just take our time. Oh jeez, it's a cute cat. Well, at least I'm beating up on the chest and not the cat. Ooh. Some kind of Japanese symbol there. Sun Crystal. Alright. This music reminds me of, like, the first part, like, um... I used to have this CD of songs by Sting, but it was performed by an orchestra. And, like, the very beginning of the song, Synchronicity, sounded like this song. It's really cool. I remember because I used it on one of my Water Hands movies. It's this really epic part where he like is fighting against the crystal eyes for the first time or something. Ooh! That's about a good experience here. Oops. There we go. Okay, those guys were no problem. Yeah, look at all that experience, man. 76. That's pretty good. Uh, let's see, do we want to go up or do we want to go left? I'm going to go left. I'm not going to remember where I went in this place. Oh, no one has come here. Search elsewhere. Alright, I'm going to take your word for that, even though you could be that person. Sandra or whoever that guy was looking for. 
Yeah, there's something very weird about the story in this game so far, I guess. I don't know if that was like... I mean, it, it looks like maybe that was the main story and not a side quest right there. I don't know if there is a main story to this game or not. Really. But no, I think technically, because here's what you could do. Here's something else I figured out. Wait, let me just get all this. Yeah. Okay, like if you go to the sub screen here, you can actually look and see what quest you're on right here. You can see like these are the ones that you finished right here. And then these are the ones that you're still on. So solve the unsolvable and gato. So there's probably some that are just a little bit bigger than others. Because like this is definitely bigger than any of the other ones I've done so far. And it's centered around this specific area of the map. So I feel like if there's ones like that that are centered around certain areas, they're probably bigger than the other ones. I love air. I love democracy. Sorry for reminding anybody of politics, I was just quoting episode one here. Pathways of what? Asceticism? Wait, let me read that again. Uh, ascetism? Ascetism, well, um, the leaves are down here. Oh, they're also over here, though. Is this back in the beginning? I feel like we're back in the beginning, suddenly. Uh, oh god, snakes again. No, oh, man, I don't want to fight these again. Uh, I'm gonna just do what I did last time and cut some bamboo. One shotted. Oh yeah. Level up. Okay, when they block like that, you gotta watch out. Just oh man, yeah. Shit, no, don't kill for more than three hits. There, I think that's probably a bad idea. Trying to get around the him from behind seems to be the best way. What was that, a Game Boy? Jeez, man. I'll tell you what. Well, let's see what's over here. Wait, wait, uh oh. Saw something out there. Well, let's at least check in here first. Now, I want to I see what that was. That might have just been a dead end, but you can never be too sure. Never can be too sure, y'all. That is a. No, it's not. Oh, yeah, it is. Oh, so I gotta go through the cave to get to the other side of it. Makes sense. Makes sense! Why don't I have my window open, dude? It's a beautiful day outside. You're shutting out the world, man. What am I telling you? What, do I, what did I tell you? Who that called my name? Yeah, I called you if your name is... <laughs> Sorry, um... That was a quote from Cletus, the same Cletus that I'm always referring to when I say Cletus. I'm not going to say it really loud because I don't want to peek the mic right now. And this is more... Oh, gee, what the hell is that? That is a tree. It's not a territorial oak, is it? Oh, he's got, like, no HP at all. No, uh, actually, yes, he does. He has two health bars. Yeah, but see, if you give him that combo like this, he can totally just wreck your shit. As long as you keep the rhythm steady. Ooh, he got some damage, too. Of course, with fists like that, you can imagine. Fists of wood. Ooh, he dropped an item, too. Oak wood. Oak, indeed. Oak A! <laughs> no. Wow, there's like a lot of ways to go here. Let me try going to the right first. Oh god, what we got? We got cockatrices. Do I have to jump to hit these? I hope not. Enemies in trials of mana that you have to jump to hit are always really annoying. Armored enemies are even more annoying. You always have to hit them like 50 times just to do any damage to them at all. And there's, there's like an ability you can equip where your weapons are like 50% better at hitting them, but, yeah, and like, I know the key to it is you have to use charge attacks or whatever, and, or class attacks and stuff, but I never want to waste those on, oh, no, I should. Anyway, I think we need to just pick a direction and stick with it. 
Oh, hello. We share it with anyone who has a barrel in their soul. <laughs> a barrel in their soul? He sounds like he got stuck in a barrel! Is Von Trauma in here? We're making the Blessed Elixir here. Sacred water is imperative for the temple's rituals. Hmm. Can I have some? There's not like any other way to go here, right, that I'm missing here. Doesn't seem like it. Well, let's get out of here then. What the heck was that? Wow, did you see that? Have to. Oh, oh, no, no. Poison! Or confused, rather. Well, when I get confused, I just let go of the controller entirely. Stand in one spot. It's fortunately confused in a game like this doesn't cause you to attack yourself. It just inverts your controls, which is not half as bad. Okay, these guys again. I don't these guys too much. Oops. Gee whiz. Is that your special technique? Yeah, I haven't really tried to counterattack thing too much. I wonder if I should. Boy, that's so much experience there. That's really good. There's no money though, which is kind of a little unfortunate. Yeah, this doesn't seem too bad. Like, I thought this might be worse than it actually was, but. Because of like being far away from my house and stuff, but no, that's not bad at all. I keep forgetting to press the wrong button to. Oh, I keep forgetting to press the wrong button. Yeah, that's that's what you're trying to say for sure. And this is like that long cave that goes across here. Oh wait, wait, no, we haven't seen this. Yikes! We haven't seen this place yet. Oh, well, it's tricky when the enemies diagonally from you. I don't know about these slimes here, man. I don't, I don't trust them at all. Holy jeez. I also noticed that you like, you can't hit two enemies with one swipe. Or can you? Wait, it seemed like I was there. There is a bit of a, like, up and down pull to your attack. To where you can, like, hit enemies from a diagonal point a little bit there. It felt like I was definitely doing that there. But, well, let's see. This is definitely... Hmm. I want to say this is definitely new, but I'm not 100% sure of myself here. Jeez Louise, what is that? It's got a sword stuck in it, whatever it is. Jeez, it's alive. How is it alive? Can I get over here behind you? Yes. Whew. That's a good experience there again. Alright, so we can go up there, that looks important, or we can go left. I'm just scared of running into like a Lost Woods situation here, you know, where like, it does it start repeating on itself? It seemed like it was doing that earlier, but maybe that was just my imagination. Look at these little alien looking dudes again here. Wow, what is that, a jump kick? Wow, these, these guys can be dangerous in big numbers like this. Gee, look at this. There we go. You know, whittle their numbers down. Okay. Also, that's not a Game Boy, that's chocolate. I don't know why, I thought that was a Game Boy earlier. This looks important too. Not that other passageway though. I'm gonna go look at that first. Crap, that means I'm gonna have to fight all this stuff again though. Bling bling, baby. Alright, let me go 
Let's see what this is. Hopefully it's a dead end, because I gotta tell ya. Let's see. You get bird meat. And over here... Oh, this stuff just keeps... There's like four different ways to go here, my god. Leave once you are finished. Okie dokie then. Well, back to it. I gotta find our way back over there again. Yeah, who needs fancy moves when you can just combo to the rhythm? Man, oh man. <laughs> Oh, there we go. We found it. I just had to follow the leaves. That really was it. But I got confused because I saw leaves, like, in other places besides whatever. But then I started going whichever way had leaves by the exit. And that seemed to do it, so. There you go. This is pretty. This is, like, legit. I mean, for PS1 graphics, seriously? This is legit. And yeah, hopefully we took care of that issue with the like the video skipping that we had yesterday. I'm not sure what happened there. Maybe some kind of issue with video conversion. Something with my capture card just didn't like it, you know. Cancun Bird's Nest. I can get rid of the pain you feel. Really? After all that happened yesterday, you really expect me to believe you. Huh? More company? Who the hell are you? Oh, yes. Yes, Mr. Boyd, you're here in time. You're going to pay for what you've done. I will play my violin at you now. Oh. You took off your mask. Don't spread that COVID shit on me. Oh, jeez, she's the hookshot. Oh, man. Oh well, my tummy doesn't hurt anymore. Well, uh, that's a relief. Yay, I'm okay now. He doesn't care. He's just like, damn it. Shut up, this is no time to celebrate. Oh. Well, I mean, I'd be celebrating. I mean, there's nothing that makes you more happy than when pain goes away. Another Jumi was murdered. This is horrible. So Jumi, I take it, is sort of like the keepers of the crystals or whatever. At least that sounds like it might be the case. So even though it is like mostly side quests, they kind of play into a central story. Which is cool. Also, we have more artifacts than we know what to do with right now. I will catch you one of these days. Pow! Right in the kisser! There you go. Flame of Hope the End. Okay. That was simple enough. So I guess for the time being, we're done there. Let's go ahead and turn that one in then. Don't want to forget to do that after all the trouble we went through. I don't want to take a chance on running into the same issue I did last time, so I might stop it there just to play it safe here. Besides, these videos are getting a little long-winded. I don't want to be putting out way too much there. Or, I don't want to be putting out more than, you know, is necessary. I don't want to, like, overstay my welcome with these being, like, daily videos and all. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, yo, 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 yo. Popo bugs are friends. If you say so. And here he goes. Leaving the nest to have fun. I noticed there's another pot up there. 
similar to the one that he's in. Like, he's in a yellow pot, right? Well, yeah, it's a yellow pot, but notice there's like a green one right here. I wonder if Mr. Cactus Boy is going to get a girlfriend at some point. Are we going to end up with like 10 people living in this house by the end of the game? <laughs> because I'd, I hope you guys are planning on splitting the rent with me. Anyway, but, but I'm curious. I want to go ahead and set something else down here before we stop. So, and we have a lot of options here now. Torch of Coral, Ancient Tablet. Should, probably should have put the Torch of Coral on the peninsula. But you know, there is a place we could put it. I notice these all have different elemental properties too. It makes sense that Undine or Undine would be the most powerful with that one. Oh, interesting. Okay, so this shows like how it would affect the surrounding that's interesting. So I assume you would want to get those as high as you possibly can. But I kind of want to put it over here. Well, I guess it would help the same either way. Yeah, let's, uh, let's put it right there. It's gonna be like some big underwater area or something. Oh, wow. Medora Beach, ooh, okay. That looks like it could be fun. I kind of want to put down another one. You know what? I'm going to put down another one. See, medallion? Um, that looks like a tree-based thing. Ancient tablet is like earth, fire, and wood. And this one's like wood, wood, fire, earth. Hmm. I'm going to set down another one. And this one, I'm going to put up here. That is some serious grass, my man. Oh, that's like a jungle, jungle area, okay. I mean, does it really matter when you plant these? I don't think it does. It does matter where you plant them, though. Yeah, home's getting up there now a little bit. This is so interesting, though, because I can see how it would optimize by placing things in certain areas. Or planning out, like, where to put them. I'm actually going to wait on this, though, for now. And just see what else I get before I don't start going too crazy here. Because this looks like it might be a dungeon or something. And I'm not sure I want to put that right next to my house. Anyway, no, 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 put that away, put that away. We're done with this for now. So next time, I reckon we'll explore either the jungle or the beach. Or maybe we'll go back to town and talk to that dude in the bar. This is kind of cool, though. We just do anything we want, man.